Hello, I'm Martin Sheen. According to the American Association of Museums, there are more than 17,000 museums in the United States, with millions of visitors every year. Museums give us a unique opportunity to experience and interpret the infinitely diverse objects of the world around us. They were originally known as the Naked Warriors, the U.S. Navy underwater demolition teams, predecessors of the U.S. Navy SEALs, who cleared enemy beaches during World War II and paved the way for countless invasions. Technically, they were right because all we wore was a bathing suit, uh, fins and masks, and a knife was our only weapon. Today, the Navy SEAL is the ultimate precision weapon. I think that's an accurate description. Um, these men learn things. They, they uh, go places and do things that preserve a national way of life for all of us. Well, the SEAL is probably your ultimate warrior, a guy that uh, is tough, smart, street smart, uh, highly trained, uh, highly motivated. It's a, Intimidating factor, knowing that somebody can come out of the ocean and kill you and uh, be that skilled and, uh, and well-trained in that, in that environment. Operating from the sea, air, and land with the specialized training to use all three to accomplish their mission objectives, the Navy SEALs have fought in every conflict since World War II, although their history has been shrouded in secrecy. The secret missions of the Navy SEAL rank among the most successful and devastating in the history of modern warfare. From the early UDTs, or underwater demolition teams, who cleared the beaches of obstacles so that our invading troops could land safely, to the jungles of Vietnam, where the Viet Cong lived in terror of these devils with green faces, who would appear suddenly in the night, make a hit, and disappear like ghosts. Even the astronauts in our early space program relied on these naval commandos who recovered them after splashdown of their capsule and loaded them safely onto hovering helicopters. Today, these elite warriors can be seen in a unique museum exhibit. This is the only place, this museum is the only place where the uh, public can get a glimpse into their, their, their world, and uh, both in training and the conflicts they've been involved in, and it's a place to, to honor them and uh, to educate the public as to what they have sacrificed for our, our nation's uh, security. Although SEALs and their missions have always been classified, the cloak of secrecy has finally been lifted to reveal the history of these naval commandos at the Navy UDT SEAL Museum, a museum dedicated to the Navy UDT SEAL so that the public can honor them in a meaningful way. Because it's museums like this here in Fort Pierce honoring the Navy SEALs and their predecessors that allow these people to give voice to their experience. It's part of our tradition, it's part of our culture as a nation, and it's very important that we preserve that so that these stories aren't forgotten. It's very important now that it's lifted, that we can teach the, the public the roles of the Navy SEALs, and even from the beginning of World War II, that a lot of people don't know about the underwater demolition team, the, the, the fathers of the SEALs, who started right here in Fort Pierce, Florida. It's the only museum in the world dedicated to preserving the history of uh, the U.S. US frogmen, the U.S. Navy frogmen. I don't know of any former SEAL or UDT man that hasn't walked away from this museum just with a tremendous sense of pride and uh, admiration for the museum and for themselves again and, and their teammates. The SEAL is becoming more known to the general population, uh, and I think that we have the opportunity to tell our story to everyone. Located in Fort Pierce, Florida, on the grounds recognized as the birthplace of the U.S. Navy Frogmen, the National Navy UDT SEAL Museum recently received national designation, making it the official museum in the United States dedicated to preserving the history of these elite warriors. They're a national treasure. I can't say that enough. 
and uh, I think it's, uh, it's everyone needs to pay a little bit of tribute uh, to these fellows. Our children need to understand that freedom isn't free, that there's a tremendous amount of loss and sacrifice. And when you walk through and you see the, the exhibits here and you hear the stories and you read about these people and you see the pictures, I mean, it's very clear that this is, uh, this is something that we needed to protect and needed to preserve. The mission of the, the Navy SEAL Museum is to not only preserve the history and heritage of the Navy SEALs, but also to honor those men who made the ultimate sacrifice in defense of our nation. Here, amidst displays of specialized equipment and high-tech weapons used by these highly trained naval commandos, visitors can explore the complete history of the Navy SEAL in an atmosphere of respect and honor. From their beginning as Navy combat demolition units and underwater demolition teams to their guerrilla warfare in the jungles of Vietnam, Desert Storm, and beyond. They deserve this museum. It it's gives them the honor and respect due to them that has been left and ignored for a long time. But now we're here and we're going to tell their story and I, hopefully we will make them proud. It gives the public, the general public, an opportunity to to see a, a legacy, uh, to see a heritage that has probably been undiscovered by the general population. By sea, air, and land, the Navy SEALs led secret missions in nearly every environment imaginable, from humid jungles to Arctic waters to the darkness of outer space. You can now witness these declassified stories that can finally be told at the National Navy UDT SEAL Museum. We're glad you could join us today. I'm Martin Sheen. See you next time, and thanks for watching.